and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today, Holy Mother the Church turns us away from the books of Genesis, Isaiah, and Proverbs to a reading from St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 23 through 28, and chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. In today's Gospel, we see that the Pharisees had become so legalistic and strict in their interpretation of Jewish law, that they had forgotten the true meaning and purpose of the law, that is, to love your God and your fellow man. The law was written to help man, not to create a burden on him. And so it is with the teachings of our Lord, to help us live a life of joy and happiness in God and with our fellow man. Before we hear today's gospel, let's pray for understanding with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, then all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now today's gospel according to St. Mark. One Sabbath he was going through the grain fields, and as they made their way, his disciples began to pluck heads of grain. And the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? And he said to them, have you never read what David did when he was in need and was hungry, he and those who were with him? How he entered the house of God when Abathar was high priest, and ate the bread of the presence, which it is not lawful for any but the priest to eat, and also gave it to those who were with him. And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. Again he entered the synagogue, and a man was there who had a withered hand. And they watched him to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come here. And he said to them, Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to kill? But they were silent. And he looked around at them with anger grieved at their hardness of heart, and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks.